beloved of God, welcome. Grace and peace to you on this, the longest night of the year. The physical darkness of this night is symbolic of the sorrow and loneliness many people feel. During this service we call Blue Christmas, you don't have to pretend that all is merry and bright. In a world so full of illness and death, loss and grief, fear and mistrust, hate and violence, we come together to mourn, to be comforted, and to be reminded of God's light that shines through the darkness. Let us be called to worship. Light looked down and saw darkness. I will go there, said Light. Peace looked down and saw war. I will go there, said Peace. Love looked down and saw hatred. I will go there, said Love. Hope looked down and saw sorrow and grief. I will go there, said Hope. So he, the Lord of light, the Prince of peace, the King of love, the giver of hope, came down and crept in beside us. A scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 5. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to you. A scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 5. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low, the uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. From Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2 and 6. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light, those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And from the Gospel of John, Chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. 
What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The words to this lesser-known Christmas carol were penned by the poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow on Christmas Day in 1863, two years before his wife of 18 years was fatally burned in an accidental fire. Then in 1862, during the American Civil War, Longfellow's oldest son Charles joined the Union Army without his father's blessing. Charles was later severely wounded in the war. His words express raw and honest feelings of grief and a yearning for the peace on earth promised in the birth of Christ. And in despair, I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said. For hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Every Christmas of my childhood, as far back as I can remember, had a tinge of blue, a feeling of sorrow rather poorly hidden behind all the merry and bright. My 19-year-old brother had died of an asthma attack in the spring of 1968. My parents were divorced a year later. My mother went back to college to get her teaching degree while she worked in a clothing store 
and as a teacher's aide, and while she raised a teenager and two younger children. She struggled financially and emotionally as a single parent, and she struggled with Christmas. You may have a story too of a recent loss or one that happened decades ago. Perhaps you have lost friends or loved ones to the coronavirus pandemic, or you may have lost income or a job or your business due to COVID. Perhaps you're alone this Christmas, staying away from family to prevent contracting or spreading the virus. You may be suffering with cancer or worried about a loved one who's ill. You may be mourning the deep political and racial divides in our country. In the very next verse of the song, Longfellow describes how the bells seem to answer his despair with a message of hope. Then peal the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, goodwill to men. Whatever your sorrow or despair, let's listen again for that message of hope. The proof that we are not forgotten in the pain of exile is this. Into the darkness of a winter's night, 
God comes to a people pushed around by oppressive empires. God comes to a sojourning family on the run. God comes. As Job said, God reveals mysteries from the darkness and brings the deep darkness into light. Trusting in the God who comes to us, let our prayers rise like incense in the descending darkness as we cry out to God for light and lightness of soul. Let us confess the longings of our lives by lighting candles with prayers for the world's healing. We light candles today to remember those whom we have loved and lost. We pause to remember their names, their faces, their voices, the memories that bind them to us in this season. May God's eternal love surround them. We light candles today to redeem the pain of loss, the loss of relationships, the loss of jobs, the loss of health, the loss of hopes and dreams. We pause to gather up the pain of the past. We offer it to God asking that from God's hands, we receive the gift of peace. Refresh, restore, renew us, O oh God, and lead us into your future. We light candles today to give light to the flicker of our faith and the gift of hope which the Christmas story offers to us. Here we remember that God who shares our life promises us a place and time where there will be no more pain and suffering. Let us take hold of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. Now go in peace and be filled with hope. Amen. <laughs>